changed my life, but it, it really did. Um, in a positive way, for sure. That was Colonel Jeff Van Duding right before the vintage Ford Trimotor took off today. The Experimental Aircraft Association brought the aircraft to the valley from Port Clinton. I was able to travel back in time with First News videographer Brian Olbeck. The plane is not only a part of history, it also inspires young kids to become pilots. Take a listen. A 1928 Ford Trimotor set on the runway at the Youngstown Warren Regional Airport Thursday morning, ready for two days of flying. <laughs> and there were some special passengers. What started as a dream for a young boy turned into a career that was over 30 years in the United States Air Force serving our country. And today, that young boy got to fly the plane behind me. Rewind back to 1976. I was a 12 year old Boy Scout, and our Scoutmaster wanted to camp over at South Bass Island. He wasn't real big on boats, so he decided to fly the scout troop over on the Ford Trimotor. That was Colonel Jeff Van Duding's first time on a plane. My attention went from the wheel to the ground, and I saw, you know, we were climbing away. The houses were getting smaller. The cars were getting smaller. And, yeah, I just knew right there and then that that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Van Duding even remembers his exact seat. However, this time, he entered the plane and headed straight for the cockpit. Also aboard the plane was eight-year-old Stephen Hillman, a frequent flyer. So do you love planes? Yeah. Why? Because my dad's fly them, and I want to fly them when I grow up. And they're just so fun. They take you everywhere so fast. The EAA believes this flying piece of history can inspire many young children to become pilots. Members of the Civil Air Patrol were in attendance as well, which Van Duding was involved with in high school before the Air Force Academy. It's just cool how he became a colonel from being a cadet in Civil Air Patrol. And he was 12 like how I am was and now I could just be like him. Van Duding reflected on his career that all started on this very plane. I could combine my love of country with my love of flying and I have married those two up and here I am you know coming up on 38 years uh, in retirement and it's it's just been a, a wonderful honor to serve. The EAA is welcoming folks to come experience history. I mean, it was a fabulous day. They'll be at the Youngstown Warren Regional Airport again tomorrow from 9 until 5. Walk-ins are welcome, and you can find more information about the plane by clicking on the link in our online story on WKBN.com or our mobile app.